Yo, what's up, everybody? We're talking China today, people. China. The country where your iPhone's made, your sneakers, probably even that suspicious-looking hot dog you got at the gas station. They're on fire, economically speaking. Elon Musk say China's economy is three times bigger than the US economy. Three times. Let's go. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Themselves. Um, and what we're going to see uh, with, with China for, uh, for the first time that anyone can remember who is alive is an economy that is twice the size of the U.S., possibly three times the size of the U.S. And it's going to be very weird living in that world. So uh, we, we better stop the infighting in the U.S. and stop punching ourselves in the face because like there's a whole there's way too much, uh, you know, of, of America punching itself in the damn face, which is just dumb um, and and think about like hey we got to be competitive here and and uh, there's a new kid on the block that's gonna be two to three times our size we, we better step up our game um, and uh, you know and stop infighting um, you know t t Tesla Tesla does have a a strong work work ethic in in the US but but it, it, to be totally frank, it, 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 the work that work ethic is exceeded um, uh, on balance by uh, t the t Tesla China team. That, that is, I think, objectively true. So there's not to say there aren't lots of hardworking people at Tesla US. There certainly are. Um, but if you say on average, the, the, the work ethic in China is higher. It's just... That's like ordering a small coffee and getting a bucket. It's wild. But is it something to fear? Or is it just the universe trying to tell us to up our game? Let's dive in. Imagine this. You're at a cookout, right? You and your buddy, let's call him Uncle Sam, are grilling burgers. You're chilling, flipping patties, everything's good. Suddenly, your neighbor, let's call her Dragon Mama, rolls up with a whole feast. Dumplings, noodles, Peking duck, you name it. Everyone's crowding around her table, mesmerized. Now you're not scared but you're definitely paying attention. That's kind of like what's happening with China's economic boom. They're not trying to steal the grill. They're just showing everyone they know how to throw down in the kitchen. China's growth is like that tide that lifts all boats, but maybe some boats are getting lifted higher than others. Over the past few decades, China has transformed from a largely agrarian society into a global economic powerhouse. This rapid growth has had a ripple effect across the world influencing markets, industries, and even the daily lives of people far beyond its borders. Some folks are worried about jobs going overseas, and yeah, that's a real concern. The fear of losing jobs to cheaper labor markets is not unfounded. Many manufacturing jobs have indeed moved to countries where labor costs are lower, and this has left some communities struggling to adapt. The sight of empty office spaces and factories that once buzzed with activity can be disheartening. But hold up, let's not jump to conclusions. The global economy is a complex web of interdependencies. While some jobs may be lost, new opportunities often arise in their place. It's essential to look at the bigger picture and understand the broader trends at play. Innovation and technology are constantly reshaping the job market, creating roles that didn't exist a decade ago. This isn't a zero-sum game, people. Collaboration and mutual benefit are key. When countries work together, they can achieve more than they could alone. International partnerships and trade agreements can lead to shared prosperity, fostering innovation and growth on both sides. China's success doesn't automatically equal America's failure. In fact, the two economies are deeply intertwined. American companies benefit from access to Chinese markets and vice versa. The flow of goods, services and ideas between the two nations can drive progress and improve living standards for people in both countries. It's more complicated than that. Economic relationships are multifaceted, 
involving trade, investment, and technology transfer. The rise of one nation can spur competition, but it can also lead to collaboration and shared advancements. Economists and policymakers must navigate these complexities to ensure that the benefits of globalization are widely distributed. Think of it like this. You got your favorite pizza place, right? It's a local gem beloved by the community. The owner decides to expand and open a new location across town. At first, you might be concerned about the change. They open a new location across town. This new spot might attract a different crowd, and you might worry that the original place will lose its charm. But expansion can also mean more opportunities for everyone involved. You might be a little bummed you got to drive further, but hey, more pizza for everyone, right? The new location can bring the joy of your favorite pizza to more people, creating jobs and fostering a sense of community in a new area. Similarly, global economic growth can lead to shared benefits, even if the path isn't always straightforward. It's about finding balance and ensuring that progress lifts everyone, not just a select. Think of it like networking on steroids. They're building bridges, not walls, and that's helped them create a super connected economy. Now, some folks might say, hey, that's not fair. But hey, that's how they roll. And you got to admit, it's working for them. It's like that friend who knows everyone at the club. They always get in first. No line, no problem. Section 5. Beyond the numbers. But here's the thing, folks. GDP isn't everything. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers, the statistics, and the impressive growth rates. We see the charts going up and up, and we think, wow, this country is doing great. But numbers can be deceiving. Sure, China's economy is booming, and it's hard to ignore the towering skyscrapers and the bustling markets. The rapid development is nothing short of remarkable. But they've also got a whole lot of people to take care of. With a population of over a billion, the challenges are immense. It's not just about economic growth. It's about ensuring that growth benefits everyone. And let's be real, they've got their own set of challenges. Pollution, income inequality, you name it. The air quality in many cities is a serious concern, and the gap between the rich and the poor is widening. It's like winning a huge trophy, a symbol of success and achievement, but it's so big you need a forklift to carry it. The weight of this success can be overwhelming, and you don't even have space in your house for it. The infrastructure and living conditions in many areas are struggling to keep up with the rapid growth. It's impressive, but it's not always practical. The shiny exterior can hide the underlying issues that need to be addressed. We gotta look beyond the shiny numbers and see the whole picture. It's about understanding the complexities and the realities on the ground. Economic growth is important, but so is the quality of life, the environment, and social equity. We need to ask ourselves, what kind of growth are we aiming for? Is it sustainable? Is it inclusive? Are we building a future that benefits everyone or just a select few? These are the questions that matter. Beyond the numbers, there's a story of people, communities, and the planet. Let's not lose sight of that. Section 6. The Innovation Dragon. Hold up. Did you think China was just about cheap labor and knock-off handbags? Think again, my friend. They're investing heavily in tech, green energy, you name it. They're not just following the innovation game. They're changing the rules. Remember when everyone thought flip phones were the future? Then BAM! Apple dropped the iPhone and changed everything. China's pulling an Apple, but on a global scale. Section 7. Cooperation, not competition. So, what does all this mean for America? In a world that's becoming increasingly interconnected, the dynamics of global power are shifting. The rise of China as an economic powerhouse has many Americans worried about our place in the global hierarchy. But, instead of viewing this as a zero-sum game, we need to rethink our approach. Well, for starters, we gotta step up our game. This means fostering innovation and creativity within our borders. Our tech startups and engineers are already doing incredible work, but we need to support them even more. By investing in education, research, and development, we can ensure that America remains at the forefront of technological advancements. We can't just sit here reminiscing about the good old days when we were the undisputed champs. 
The industrial era was a time of great progress, but the world has changed. Our factories and industries need to adapt to the modern age. This means embracing new technologies and finding ways to make our manufacturing processes more efficient and sustainable. It's time to innovate, invest in our people and build a more sustainable future. Our scientists and researchers are already making strides in renewable energy and other cutting-edge fields. By supporting these efforts, we can create jobs, reduce our carbon footprint and lead the world in the fight against climate change. And guess what? We don't have to do it alone. The challenges we face are global in nature and they require global solutions. By working together with other nations, we can achieve more than we ever could on our own. Instead of seeing China as a threat, why not see them as a potential partner? Collaboration can lead to mutual benefits. When American and Chinese engineers come together to work on projects, they bring different perspectives and expertise to the table. This can lead to innovative solutions that neither side could have developed on their own. Imagine the possibilities if we work together on global issues like climate change or poverty. By pooling our resources and knowledge, we can tackle these challenges more effectively. International summits and joint ventures are just the beginning. The future holds endless possibilities if we choose cooperation over competition. Let's build a world where nations work together for the common good, creating a brighter future for all. Section 8. The future is unwritten. Look, the future is a big, beautiful mystery box, right? No one knows what's going to happen. Maybe China will become an economic superpower. Maybe they'll face unexpected challenges. Maybe America will reclaim its throne. Maybe we'll find a whole new way to thrive. The point is, folks, we're all in this together. Instead of freaking out about what might happen, let's focus on building a future where everyone has a chance to succeed. Section 9. Join the conversation. All right, folks, that's my take on China's economic rise. What do you think? Is it a good thing, a bad thing, or somewhere in between? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. And while you're at it, what other global issues should we be talking about? I'm all ears. Peace out. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.